Hello and welcome to today's presentation on Renal Support Strategies in the Intensive Care Unit ICU. In this session, we will delve into the topic of Continuous Renal Replacement Therapy CRRT, an important modality for managing acute kidney injury ACI, in critically ill patients. Let's explore CRRT in detail. Continuous Renal Replacement Therapy, commonly known as CRRT, is a form of renal replacement therapy used in the ICU to provide support for patients with Aki. It is a slow, continuous, and gentle method of removing waste products, toxins, and excess fluids from the bloodstream. CRRT is indicated in critically ill patients with severe Aki who are hemodynamically unstable or unable to tolerate conventional intermittent hemodialysis. It is commonly employed in patients with conditions such as sepsis, multi-organ failure, or those requiring fluid management. CRRT utilizes a specialized machine, which continuously filters the patient's blood through a circuit. It involves the following key components. A vascular access, usually obtained through a central venous catheter. A hemofilter, which acts as the artificial kidney and removes waste products and excess fluids. A pump system to ensure blood flow through the circuit. And a dialysate or replacement fluid, which is infused to maintain electrolyte balance. CRRT offers different modes to meet individual patient needs. Continuous veno-venous hemofiltration CVVH, primarily relies on convection for fluid removal, where a large volume of fluid is filtered across a semi-permeable membrane. Continuous veno-venous hemodialysis CVVHD, combines both convection and diffusion for solute clearance with diffusion helping to remove smaller molecules more effectively. Continuous veno-venous hemodiafiltration CVVHDF, combines convection and diffusion, providing enhanced clearance of both solutes and fluids. CRRT offers several advantages over intermittent hemodialysis. It provides hemodynamic stability by offering a slow and continuous method of fluid and solute removal, minimizing disturbances. It allows for precise control of fluid balance in critically ill patients, particularly those with fluid overload or edema. CRRT maintains stable solute clearance over time, reducing the risk of rapid electrolyte or fluid shifts. It also provides effective control of acid-base balance and electrolyte abnormalities and is often better tolerated in hemodynamically unstable patients. When employing CRRT, several factors need to be considered. Anticoagulation with heparin or alternative agents is commonly used to prevent clotting in the extracorporeal circuit. Adequate vascular access, such as central venous catheters, is crucial. The CRRT prescription is individualized based on the patient's clinical condition, body size, and renal function. Regular monitoring of fluid balance, electrolytes, acid-base status, and hemodynamics is essential to ensure optimal therapy. Like any medical intervention, CRRT is associated with certain complications. Hemodynamic instability, or hypotension, can occur due to fluid and electrolyte shifts during therapy. Close monitoring and appropriate interventions are necessary. Anticoagulation increases the risk of bleeding, so balancing the need for anticoagulation with a patient's bleeding risk is crucial. The vascular access site poses a risk for infection, requiring strict aseptic techniques and vigilant monitoring. Close monitoring of electrolyte levels is necessary to prevent severe imbalances during therapy. In conclusion, CRRT is an important modality for managing Aki in the ICU. It offers numerous advantages over intermittent hemodialysis, providing continuous and hemodynamically stable renal support. However, careful patient selection, monitoring, and attention to potential complications are vital for optimal outcomes. Thank you for your attention. We hope this overview of CRRT has provided you with valuable insights into renal support strategies in the ICU.